Hello, Aries. How are you guys doing? Aries, 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 Aries. Dun, 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 dun. Aries, Aries, Aries. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a good, good, good Monday so far. I know this Monday is just like, ugh, you know, ro Monday rolls in and just feel like crap and it's just, but don't worry, pretty's gonna get you through this week. So you guys already know, let's see what kind of lunatic may be coming towards you in love, Aries. Keep in mind the situation here. Could be vice versa, interchangeable. Uh -huh. Um, okay. Um, if you're cross-watching for an Aries, the Aries may have done X, Y, and Z. So just keep that in mind when you're watching a general reading. Don't overthink it, you know. Take what resonates and leave the rest. So that's what I have to say about that. So now we're moving forward. Aries. Let's see what is coming towards Aries in love spirit. What do you have for Aries? Aries. Aries. Some of you are connected to a Gemini. Or some of you could be dealing with a twin flame connection if you believe in twin flame. Or if you don't, then you don't. But <laughs> Alright, let's see. Angels, what is coming towards Aries in love? What do you have for Aries? What is coming towards Aries in love? Aries. What is coming towards Aries in love? Ooh, guys, give me just a second because this shit just... Watch out! <laughs> that shit just like fell all over the place. All right, Aries. So, you guys have justice. Some of you are connected to a Libra. Let me push this back a little. I'm like, damn, like, why the bitch so damn close, you know? Justice, and then you also have the Page of Pentacles here, Aries. The Five of Swords. What is coming towards Aries and love? So Aries, I feel like whoever the hell this person is, um, you may feel, could be a Pisces, a, a, a Libra, but you may feel like this person is kind of um, selfish or maybe you feel like they're taking advantage of you or something like that. This could be a new person that you're connected to, but um, Spirit could possibly be saying, you know, maybe you would want to give this person a chance if this is a new person. Maybe you're so used to having to watch your back, right? Maybe so you're so used to people, um, you know, taking advantage of you, hurting you, playing you, or whatever the case may be, lying to you, that you feel like this person is doing the same thing. Okay, this could be a new person for some of you. If not, I see someone calling you, um, someone's contacting you with the Page of Pentacles, and it looks like the motherfucker is bringing justice. Maybe they're bringing answers. <laughs> what is coming towards Aries and love? Tell me more. What do you have for Aries and love spirit? Aries. Um, I feel like Aries, some of you have been really overthinking the situation or you're kind of overthinking, um, you know, this new person, their intention and things like that. But for some of you, spirit could be telling you to, um, you know, don't overthink it. Right. And kind of let go of whatever fears or illusions that may be present in regards to this person and situation. What is coming towards Aries and love? Tell me more for Aries, please. Aries, Aries in love. Aries. So this may be somebody that um, you've kind of abandoned, okay, or something like that, or you feel like this person abandoned you. Maybe you guys are on and off. Some of you are just completely, I don't know why, but I don't know, Aries. Like, I feel like some of you are just completely turned off with dating right now, okay? You may not be so keen to trust anyone or to date right now. Ace of Wands in reverse can indicate like a lack of, enthusiasm or when it comes to dating someone here could be dealing with financial issues um they're going through a rough time right now that could be what it is okay for others of you i don't know why i'm feeling like whoever this person is really needs you i feel like someone really needs you aries more than you know <laughs> and they've been thinking about you a lot okay um i do see this is someone who's been dreaming about you a lot but the circumstances, there's some kind of circumstance that's causing them to not reach out or that's causing you guys to be on and off. What's coming towards Aries in love? Tell me more. What's coming towards Aries in love? Aries in love. What's coming towards Aries in love? So you and this person may have been, um, may have been, um, there could be current separation currently, okay? Nine of Cups is in the reverse. I feel like Aries, this could be someone you feel is breaking promises or something like that, okay? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It's almost like you just don't, you feel like they're not focused on you or they're not interested or something like that you may feel. But with the Hermit, I feel like um, this could be a Virgo. 
I feel like there, there's something that's causing them to feel this way, whether if it's financial reasons, family reasons, maybe they just feel very insecure about themselves, um, or some of them may have lost their job. Is kind of what I'm hearing. Five of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles could be a lack of work. Um, for others of you, this could be someone who has an issue with like mental health issue to where, you know, they, they, they struggle with a lot of depression and they overthink it. They don't feel good enough for you. They're, they're surrounded by a lot of fear and illusion. Okay, this motherfucker is surrounded by a lot of fear and illusion. I don't know who's doing it. You or Aries, I'm not sure. I mean, you or, you know, cross watcher or whatever. Now the cups in reverse can indicate, you know, some kind of like someone's not really expressing their feelings to you. Um, there's a block on someone expressing something that they want to express to you. For others of you, Nine of Cups in Reverse definitely talks about someone who is not really, they, they talk a lot, but there's not a whole lot of action, okay? Tell me more. What is coming towards Aries in love? But you can expect, Aries, that you're getting some type of answers, okay, is what I'm seeing. Ten of Cups in the Reverse. What is coming towards Aries in love? What is coming towards Aries in love? Um, but I definitely see... You getting some kind of answers like i already said okay from this person the situation they will contact you they will communicate because justice is obviously when you know um there's some type of the situation that was wrong or something that needs to be justified they're going to justify their actions they're going to justify their behavior that's what i'm saying uh -huh. um actually no it's not the the five of cups wants to come out so i feel like whoever this person is there is regret when it comes to, you know, the situation at hand. They do feel a lot of regret towards you, Aries. Um, they miss you very much. I don't think this is someone who really wants to lose you. But I don't know, Aries, like the Six of Wands reverse just tells me this is someone who feels like they don't they don't measure up or they wouldn't be good enough for you or something like that, you know? <clears throat> let's pull from the Romance Angel. And let's see what this person... What, you know what the situation involves angels what is coming towards aries in love tell me about this love situation for aries tell me about this love situation for aries <clears throat> tell me about this love situation for aries please what is coming towards aries in love tell me about this love situation for aries so some of you it's religious factors okay some shit, okay? Some of you, it could be a religious reason or whatever, but there's something I feel is blocking this person from really reaching out to you or whatever the case may be. And you have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, okay? So I think some of you may fear that it's unrequited or something like that, but it's really not unrequited. Um, and then you have release your ex. Someone may need to release their ex as well bottom of the deck we do have reconciliation Woo chow. so let's see what this justice is about aries for this lunatic angels what is the justice card about for aries in this person this love situation what is the justice card about for aries in this love situation okay four pentacles so i feel like this is a motherfucker who's been very guarded and blocked off possibly Okay, uh, maybe they just were, they just didn't, I don't know, it's like they were guarded, they were blocked off to telling you the truth, justice. Knight of Wands in the reverse, and justice. It <laughs> came out again. So, Aries, I think this person may just tell you that they have a fear of commitment, okay, or, you know, there's something that they're very afraid of. They may just admit that to you. They may tell you why they ran away from you or something like that. Because for some of you, I just feel like this is someone that you never really got closure from. You never, you know, you ain't never really talked to the motherfucker to figure out what's going on here. Things have just been very unclear in this situation. Okay, and you're needing some clarity. You've been waiting for that. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles for Aries in Love. The Ace of Cups, you see? But some of you have a new person or some type of... This person may call you and pour their heart out to you. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They just kind of want to tell you they... Oh, this is a motherfucker who's going to spill the beans. You got the Ace of Cups showing up. Some of you, there's a new person that's interested in you. You may want to give this person a chance. 
Tell me about the Five of Swords for Aries and Love. Five of Swords. The Fool in the Reverse. You feel like this is someone who keeps making foolish decisions. Okay, or this is just someone who's afraid to take a leap of faith to commit to be with you. Five of Swords for Aries and Love. I don't know. I'm just pick up, picking up on two situations here, Aries. Like you got a past person that you've been dealing with and then you have a new person. But the tower is here. So now Spirit is like, you know, Aries, you need to understand that you deserve better. Some of you are just in a situation that, um, you know, it's just not improving. It's not going anywhere. This person's full of shit. They're full of empty promises. <laughs> Tell me about the five of pentacles for Aries in love. This is someone who probably mistreats you or they treat you like they don't care. The lovers. I don't know, but I don't... Something's telling me... I just don't feel like this person really doesn't care. I don't feel like that's what it is. I feel like this is someone who just... They may have grew up in a broken home or something. They just feel like... Love, that true love doesn't exist so they're a little pessimistic i feel like this is someone who's in their head a lot that's just what i feel and they're they're just having a rough time knight of cups reverse for aries in love knight of cups reverse for aries in love all right give me a second guys seven of wands in the reverse the six of cups and you also have the queen of cups Obviously, this person really, this motherfucker really does love you. They really do. <clears throat> Ten, you just want consistency from whoever the hell this person is. Ten of Cups in the reverse for Aries in love. Yeah, you see, this person just doesn't feel like... Um, if this is somebody that you're with, like, say, for instance, this is your actual partner. I feel like Aries... Um, I feel like someone may not may no longer be feeling the relationship anymore for some of you okay um that's kind of what i'm seeing here six of wands in the reverse for aries and love six of wands in the reverse but the way i'm seeing it i'm i'm just really seeing someone who feels as though they're not good enough for you six of wands in reverse someone just feels like they're not good enough for you that could be why somebody keeps their distance. Five of Cups for Aries in love. Five of Cups for Aries in love. This motherfucker feel like they're just no good for you. See, Queen of Wands in reverse. That's a lack of confidence, a lack of... They don't feel good, Aries. Five of Pentacles. Four of Wands in the reverse. Some of them, they're not stable. Their home life isn't stable or something like that. And this is what's causing the delay and causing the problems, okay? So at this point, some of you have a choice to make because um, there could be someone new around you, Aries, with the Page of Pentacles that obviously has the right intention. They are interested in you, but you may have trouble moving on from whoever the hell this person is. But there's a this person kind of needs to get their shit together, Aries, okay? This person's not really ready for you. You get what I'm saying? They're not really ready for you, okay? Um, strongly, I'm seeing um, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, possibly a Gemini. But let's see what this person would want to say to you, Aries. Angels, what does this person want to say to Aries? What does this person want to say to Aries, please? What does this person want to say to Aries? They want to say, you are so damn beautiful. <laughs> what does this person want to say to Aries, please? Someone says that they dream about you. They daydream about you, actually. I wanted to put this down a little bit just so you guys can see the cards what does this person want to say to aries spirit what does this person want to say to aries they say they want to start over and i will make it up to you what does this person want to say to aries please um keep in mind for some of you this was a past situation okay this is how things were in the past and this is why they abandoned you or they didn't or they rejected you or whatever the case may be because i feel like this is someone who has a they have issues there's something wrong they may have like a victim mentality or something like that. They feel unlovable. They feel like people don't love them or something like that, okay? What I wouldn't do to hold you again. And then they say, I just want to make you happy. Wow. Bottom of the deck, this separation is killing me. And they say they never moved on. 
Anything else that this person wants to say to Aries, please? Anything else that this person wants to say to Aries? I want you so badly. Many options, but I only want you. And they say they miss you so much. So, Aries, if you think things are good for them and they're just in paradise, no. They're actually very unhappy without you. They really do love you. They want you back. Life is rough without you. It's just they, they need you. They may have trouble admitting that they need you, but they really do need you. Okay? <laughs> they just need you, Aries. All right, so that's what I have for you, Aries. Let me know what the freak is going on here, my loves. Let's get some charms to see who you may be dealing with. Angels, who is Aries dealing with? Who is Aries dealing with? Okay, so you have a music symbol, someone who could be into music. You have a Jesus symbol. So this could definitely be somebody who is very religious. You have a J. You have a mermaid, an M as in mother. You have two music symbols. So this person could be really into music. They may do music. Someone may do music here. You have an N, an S, a P, an A. You have two P's here, a W, a G, a cat, an angel again. Angels, who is Aries dealing with? Who is Aries dealing with? Who is Aries dealing with, please? An E, an N again, an S, a W, a clover again. So something about a clover like this person feels very lucky to have met you or your love is a blessing a cat a peace symbol a horse an e so strong e strong n strong p strong j you do also have an r here um and you have like a fish who may enjoy fishing or something about fish could be a pisces who is aries dealing with another angel heart uh, an angel wing, sorry. <laughs> a Z, uh, a W, so strong W too. There's a queen symbol, so I feel like this person feels like you're a queen, Aries, for you um, feminines out there. Um, I feel like this person really wants to give you what you deserve. They do want to make you happy, but right now, they're struggling. Their life is very difficult. Something's wrong with this person, Aries, okay? So that is what I have for you, Aries. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love you guys, and I will see you guys next time.